hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of diode circuit here we have a diode circuit and we want to find out what is this i1 i and this id2 currents and also we have to know whether this diode is on or off and uh, there are two different methods you can approach this problem one is open circuit method and the other one is short circuit method in the open circuit method what we do is we remove all this diode and keep it as open like for the first, if we replace this one with open circuit this is going to look like this we are going to have a circuit like this this is going to be open and here also it's going to be open and this is 10 voltage and this one is I forgot to write this one this is negative 10 voltage and that's it okay here we have this one and this is 5k ohm resistor and this is negative 10 voltage and when we open this one for a diode this is the anode part and this is the cathode part okay so this voltage here is voltage anode part and this is VA this is VK and for this one this is anode part this is cathode part so this is VA this is VK now what we have to do is we have to figure out what is the VA and VK value if you get a VA value that is greater than VK it means this diode is in short circuit like this is on it means this is in forward bias so we have to replace that diode with a short circuit now let's look at this one for this one VA is equal to zero voltage because this is connected to the ground let's call this one VA1 since we have two VA and VK VA1, VK1, VA2, VK2 VA1 is going to be zero and VK1 since there's no current flow this vo voltage is going to be exactly same as this one this is negative 10 voltage and let's look at this one VA2 VA2 is going to be 10 voltage and then VK2 is going to be negative 10 VK2 is going to be negative 10 voltage okay now let's compare for this one VA1 is equal to 0 VK1 is equal to negative 10 so VA1 is greater than VK1 and if we have the cath anode voltage is greater than cathode voltage it means this is a this diode is on D this is D1 D1 is on and this is in forward bias and for this one VA2 is greater than VK2 VK2 so this is also on this is in also in forward bias so we have to replace this one with a short circuit so the circuit is going to behave like this we are going to have a short circuit like this short circuit like this now we want to find the currents okay now let's get rid of these parts now we are interested in finding this i1 i i i1 i id2 okay now let's put the direction here this is i1 and this is this is i this is i and this is i1 and this is id2 okay this is 10 voltage and uh, also this is, i forgot to write this one this is a zero voltage here this is a zero voltage mm. this is a, this is a, not here this is a zero voltage here because this is connected to the ground so this one must be zero voltage okay now let's look at this one whatever we can find i1 is 0 minus 10 0 i1 is equal to 0 minus minus 10 divided by the resistor in between that is 5k so that's going to be 10 divided by 5k 2 milliampere and id2 is going to be equal to 10 minus 0 divided by the resistor in between this resistor is 10k this 10k ohm resistor so 10 minus 10 minus 0 divided by 10k that's going to give us 1 milliampere okay now we want to find what is i is in order to find i we can apply kcl at this node if you apply kcl at zero voltage that's going to be i is entering id2 is entering i is entering plus id2 is entering so Kirchhoff's current law says whatever the current enters the node should be equal to current exiting that node 
here i1 is exiting so this 2 must be equal to i1 we found out i1 and id2 we are interested in finding i i is going to be equivalent to i1 minus id2 therefore we are going to have i1 2 milliampere minus 1 milliampere we are going to have 1 milliampere so i is 1 milliampere and i1 is 2 milliampere and then id2 is equal to 1 milliampere and uh, we found out this one using open circuit method in short circuit method what we do is we directly short circuit this one and find out this current current direction will be always from anode to cathode so here this is the anode side this is the cathode side for this one this is the anode side this is the cathode side our current is ex exactly same direction right so when we calculate the current if we get a current that is positive it means this is short circuit and that is in on the diode is on and that is that is in forward bias here we have everything is in positive right this is already in positive so in short circuit method we will get the same thing like we will get this is short circuit because the current is positive so there are two different way to approach this problem i hope this helps thanks for watching